Hi there, this is Oliver from Blendus.com and in this quick tutorial we are going to take a look on how to use Grease Pencil. Right? Grease Pencil is a feature um, quite unknown and a lot of people, at least uh, a lot of people that I know, don't find it useful actually, but it is useful for a lot of things. Right, mainly for reference work or for just annotations on the scene. Well, I'll show you uh, some of that things uh, right now, but uh, I'd like to talk about uh, some possible uses of Grease Pencil. One of them is to animate uh, a little drawing uh, over the camera with uh, the poses, main poses of a character, and we can create some animation and add timing to that uh, animation. So then we can take our 3D model and animate it uh, following the, the timing and the poses that we uh, tried and we think that could work uh, using the grease pencil. Right, we'll see it later. Uh, also we can use it for adding annotations on the scene. All right, for, you know, if you are working in a project with uh, more people, you can just create annotations on the scene and send that file to the to your co-workers so they can see where is the problem or what do you think that uh, could be cool to add there you know some things like that and also another use another possible use that I will uh, showing you right now is uh, creating a reference uh, topology for the for when, before the topo you know uh, I have this character here uh, we made it on the sculpting tutorial and what I'm going to do is to create a reference, you know, reference lines over the model. So you can uh, have a reference uh, when, when you are going to make the retopo finally. Uh, you know, this character is not useful for animating because it's very heavy, it, it has a lot of polygons, and we need a cleaner uh, mesh, all right, that we are going to create uh, from this model. All right, we'll see it on, on, on next tutorials. So before doing that, I like to create some reference lines to see where the topology uh, are going to be. So then when you are in the retopo stage, it's very easy because you have some reference or, or, or of where to put the vertices and faces and all that stuff. So let's uh, finally go to the grease pencil, right? We have this menu right here, grease pencil, and we have another one, let me check it, right here. All right, so we can create a new layer, but if we just draw, a new layer will be automatically created. So uh, you have two mm, possible uh, manners of doing it, all right, ways of doing it. One of them is to click draw and the cursor automatically uh, is now a brush. So we can just paint over here. Right, you can see that uh, a, a new layer has been automatically created, and we can change things like the color, for example, of the lines. Uh, we'll see that this later is for animation. We can change the the thickness of the lines and the opacity. Also, if X-ray, all right, you can see here that uh, it's um, behind the model, so it's hidden hidden, sorry, but if you activate x-ray you will see always the lines on top of the models or whatever you have on the scene, right, which is cool for annotations and things like that. Also you could create a new layer and you can work with several layers at the same time, right. For now we are going just to work with this one. Let's add a more blend to color, alright. <laughs> so, uh, clicking line you are going to do the same, but clicking and dragging, you will create a line. And with erase, you will erase everything you touch. All right. Uh, another way of doing it, which is more mm, fast and easy, is to press the D while clicking and dragging with the left mouse cursor. There you have it. And if you press D and right mouse button, you will erase the lines, which is cool. So once we know how to use this and how to draw on the view, uh, we are going to see the different methods of creating lines, all right? The first one is cursor, 
right cursor we are going to this new layer uh, will create you know because the lines are in 3d so the cursor uh, when you are sorry well this is one thing that I was going to explain later but I'm going to talk about it now and is that uh, when you um, create a line or something it will be attached to the model that you have or to the object that you have selected on that time all right so this way as you can see we have it here the layer but if we hide that object uh, that layer disappears all right we have it just on this model so well let's go into let's go to to create the lines just from here and as you can see from the point of view it will create the line from the point of view at the distance of the 3d cursor right if we create a new one from here it will be the same in 3d but it will be aligned to the cursor and the same happens from this position All right so it's pretty cool uh, let's raise them okay this is cool for example for let's say that we have an error here or we will like to add a horn right here so click here you have there have there the 3d cursor and now let's make this all right and then you can give this file to your co-workers and they could see something like this all right which is pretty cool uh, also well I'm using the mouse you can use the pen tablet of course which is uh, for some things like this uh, more useful and let's see another kind of uh, alignment so let's say we have uh, a camera like this one and we are going to check now how to animate all right or just from here right so in the view mode if we add for example say right this a little character okay we have this character here and uh, we can rotate the view because the 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 drawing is always facing the camera all right it don't has um, you know it doesn't have uh, distance right it always is like a 2d painting all right so it's very useful when working with cameras right because right now I can go ahead sorry select the character that we we have and here we have our little character all right so having this character here we're going to check another thing all right let's go to the to the number five frame activate onion skinning okay and now if we start drawing another frame okay like this for example you will have an animation there you have it and here for example uh, I don't know Ouch. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm going crazy right now okay the legs right here <laughs> well you get the idea all right so if we press play we can see the animation actually all right uh, the thing with this is that we can just open a dope sheet and here instead of dope sheet we are going to select grease pencil and this way we have access to the frames of the grease pencil which is very cool right also this is GP layer I'm going to call it uh, crazy animation and now here we have this layer right we can uh, well this is for the just for the for the dope sheet so right here we can change the, the the timing 
all right which is very cool you have this uh, little character for example you made an animation a quick animation like uh, what I did right now so then again okay let's take them right here for example bam bam all right and, and we can go to this one and create sorry project to right here okay let's go right here well I just fucked <laughs> a frame well no problem I don't want to to bother well just this frame and now it is okay so right here line right there and there you have it we can deactivate onion skinning onion skinning uh, lets you see the the, the previous and after uh, frames all right so you have them as a reference here you can select the range of the frames that will be appear as you can see right in zero is endless all right every frame will be showing you will be showed uh, shown here so deactivate it and you can see the actual animation okay and when you have this you can just start animating your character all right because you know or you already know the timing right you'll be experimented you have been experimenting with it right here so you can just move your character uh, with this timing and with uh, approximate poses like this ones because you uh, know that they work well in this animation they don't work <laughs> but uh, if you create a new uh, a good one and with a pen tablet and everything it could be very a very cool animation okay also you can create uh, different layers with different colors and things like that okay but well we already have this and now we are going to delete everything okay and let's uh, let's take a look at other type of alignments right so let's see that we have this okay if we align them to a stroke this is what happens okay the the strokes are aligning to previous strokes as you can see they are aligned more or less okay so it's pretty cool only add points also will make the alignment a bit different right because it will only align the first uh, the first point at the be at the ending point right it it won't for example align all of these middle ones okay there you have it now delete this again and let's start explaining you the what I am want to explain in this tutorial which is surface right this is very cool for uh, creating uh, things like scars okay because it uh, it's uh, aligned to the surface right so it's very useful for uh, define more or less the topology of a model right because there you have it it's pretty interesting you can for example say that this eye is going right here here I'm going to have a division right you don't have to make it perfectly but just a, as a reference all right of the shapes that you are going to follow later right so these are the main lines that you are going to to use so you can start adding things like this okay just for knowing where the polygons are going to be divided and the flow of them All right, as I said nothing perfect but just to later when starting the 
retopology we have more or less a clear idea all right here for example we see that here we will have triangle so we can just delete this part and create here square right there right there so I think you get an idea of how this works okay so later uh, when we start with topo we have this clear reference on how to do it okay so the important thing here is that this uh, reference you should do it on the uh, you know you create for example a plane and you select it and start creating this reference because if you don't then when you select the plane and start making the retopo the new model basing on this one you will end up having nothing because the 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 reference will be attached to the original object and when you select a different one it will be hidden right you can just click convert and select Bezier curve and you'll have these lines in a Bezier curve right a very heavy Bezier curve but this is not useful at all right it's very cool to watch it and you can make uh, custom wireframes and things like that but well it's not very useful for for what I'm expecting right now so I hope you learned how to use a grease pencil I hope you find it useful for for some things that you need to do right now or in the future and well see you soon and happy blending in in next tutorials we are going to to create a retopo of I don't know if this face or another one that I have right here but uh, well we are taking a look at it in, in next tutorials so Happy blending and see you soon.